All right, welcome everyone to another Tuesday review. And this time I have an indie game for you as always. And this is what I would call a Souls Light game. And I'll tell you more about that, tell you why I would call it that. But this is a Souls Light. And it's a pixel-related game, pixel art game, I guess you can call it. And the game is called The so Steel Sword Story. That is the game we have for you. When you start the game, you start and load. Now, if you've already played a game, make sure you go to load because you can start a new game and overwrite a previous file. So be careful. You don't want to do that. So you go to start a new game and we'll choose file one here and hit OK. So there's two options, two modes you can choose is casual and gamer. The difference is casual is going to be an easier time. Biggest difference is you start with 100 more HP and you can upgrade from there. You get better attacks, you get all that. So you get a lot more HP. And you also get more MP too for doing like magic attacks. Gamer is the hard mode. And that gives you only 100 HP. And in both modes you have like limited amount of, of upgrades you can do for your character. You can't just like make yourself like uber powerful by grinding a whole lot. There is a limit, there's like a cap to make the game still somewhat challenging, you know, somewhat of a challenge to it. Hardcore high level gameplay or simple fun gameplay. Tells you right off the bat what you're in for, what to expect. And boy, when I played this game on Gamer and I beat this game, I completed, I finished this game, it's over. The story behind this is that we're in a disgraced night, the kingdom's been attacked, the castle is burning, we have to get, work our way to the castle. Get to the castle. Save the day, of course. And we got like a attack. We launch this sort of like slashing wave. And because our sword slashes so much that it causes a wave of cutting of, of air of force just cutting in front of us as we slash. We can also boom upward, you know, downwards, upwards, left to right. Very versatile. Controls very responsive. You're not like super floaty. Your character feels like he actually has some gravity to him. Which is kind of nice. You go through, you beat up enemies. I call this Souls Light because it's really more of a just get good, learn patterns, avoid enemies. It's really more retro inspired than Souls inspired. Doesn't feel like a Souls game at all. Feels just like a, almost like an old NES game where you had to get good, you had to avoid enemies. You do have a dodge roll, so you can avoid. But I do appreciate a dodge roll where you can actually just roll to avoid enemies. You just like an invincibility type thing. Some games have a dodge roll, and you're you still take damage from rolling and trying to dodge. So it's, this one actually allows you to dodge through an attack and you don't take damage so that's kind of helpful that adds an element of oh i can dodge and avoid damage the name of the game here is just go through try to beat all the bosses find all the items get all the upgrades beat the final final boss save the princess save the kingdom save the day we've got a uh, magic attack too you can go bam There's healing fountains right here. Upgrades. Uh, ones with red stones, you can upgrade your life. Ones with, uh, I think, green stones, you upgrade your MP. Only so many times, though. Only very limited upgrades. But you can do it. It gets more expensive every time you do. If you don't have enough, we need 400. So there is a little bit of grinding in this game. Not a whole lot because you are limited. Um, there's some grinding... For items too, because you'll need gems to purchase some items to upgrade your character, to get new abilities, to make yourself more powerful. Again, it's not going to take a whole lot of time. Like I said, I beat this in four hours, under four hours really. So honestly, you'll get about four hours of this game. It's about a five, like a five dollar game, four ninety nine on Steam. I think I got it for cheaper on a Steam sale, maybe summer sale. And for a four-hour game, that's not too bad. But that would be my only complaint really about this game is that 
it is a short game. It's very short. I wish I wish there was much more to it. I wish it was a bit longer of a game. Because even I got almost all the collectibles, I think, and like almost all the items. And I, it still took me only about four hours. I may have gotten all of them. I don't remember if I did or didn't, but I got, I think, almost all of them. The other complaint about this game is if you are into achievements and getting achievements in games you play, then unfortunately you're not going to like this game too much because there's no achievements at all. Nothing. But other than that, other than no achievements and it being short, it's a fun game. Personally, I'd say it, it's probably worth five bucks just to pick up, play a little bit. I would definitely say pick this up, worth your time. It is a fun game, um, but it, it, might, it might not be your game if you want achievements, though, because there are no achievements. There are none whatsoever. So keep that in mind when playing this game. Also, it's not going to take you a whole lot of time to get through this. So it's worth a fun playthrough, but it's very quick very quick game it's fun it's enjoyable i had a great time i enjoyed challenging myself with the the gamer mode that was fun i kind of don't want to play it on the uh, casual mode now because I've, I've beat it on gamer i'm happy with that i i can rest easy knowing i beat this game on its hardest difficulty on its most challenging difficulty anyway that's my review thank you so much for watching appreciate everyone out there for watching this uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, go ahead and thumbs it down. That's cool too. Uh, comment, please. Also, I appreciate all comments and it helps the video as well. Um, if you want to, subscribe. If you don't want to, if you're happy just watching my videos and not being subscribed, that's cool too. We'll see you in the next video, in the next uh, review, the next playthrough, or the next story.